Yeah. What's up, English Wiggle yeah. Bucks? Yeah. YouTube world checking in. Let's go. Two. Two. With this series of this video, from blood to pup, we're about to go get an x ray done. She's 51 days today. So we're about to go get that checked out. See what we looking like. She definitely getting big. Then got big. But we know she a smaller thing. All right, YouTube world. English Wiggle Bus checking out. We'll get to the vet. Pet hospital. Go ahead and get bamboo checked out. For her x-ray. Get her count going. See what she's looking like. How many? Come on, fat thing. Sign in when we get back in the room. Look at that, did it right there. Yeah, because it's like she breathing in and out. But and then on the other side, too, a little bit. I'm down with it right there, because it hurts so much. Oh, what an excitement. You come back breathing like that. see the skull and the backbone and the ribs okay but that's all i see on this horn here how did this get like this oh, I don't know. I don't know either. all right and then this is the other horn here and so you can see the skull up here see the skull right there and there's the backbone and there's the ribs right there this one you can kind of see they're laying at the bottom here they're kind of crisscrossed where hey baby hi Okay, I see the one right there. Mm -hmm. I don't know where the numbers went. I don't know where the numbers went either. Oh, exactly. Our computers have been crazy today, y'all. I'm sorry. Okay. I can't see the numbers. There's one. And then this is the other one right here. The skulls are the easiest thing to find. But you can see all the little backbones and stuff, all the rib bones and stuff. So there's the skull, and there's the backbone coming down, and there's the hips. And there's the skull in this one, there's the backbone coming down, and there's the hips right there. Okay. So you only got two puppies. Um, is it a proven male? Yeah. And it's artificial insemination, I'm assuming? TCI. Through the uh, through the, with the ultrasound and everything. Yeah, that's right. Um, I don't know then. You know, sometimes uh, you know with AI, sometimes we get small litters. You know, 
if he's got males got a good sperm count, uh, sometimes um, uh, you know maybe it could be the technique the person used. I, I don't know, but you got two anyway. Yes, sir. Yeah, so that's uh, we'll just see how it goes. Is she getting a C-section? Yes, sir. Okay, all right. Well, that's about it. Uh, I was wish there was more for you, but there's only two. Now I have a couple questions. Uh -huh. um, so looking at looking at them, do it look like she's at about fifty-one days uh -huh. or? Do you not know her, her date? That was well, done? see, that's what I wanted to ask because mm -hmm. we did a TCI on April 9th and April 11th. So he's a very reputable breeder. So, you know, this is my first time. I'm actually going off of him. And he said we count 60 days mm -hmm. from the TCI. So April, what April was the first 9th. And so, April 11th. So May 9th to June. June 9th. 9th. Yeah, if we go from 63 days and count backwards to Well, 60. let's put it this way. You can't even see these bones till 45. Mm -hmm. Till 45 days. Okay. But you can see them pretty good. Yes, here. sir. So I would say maybe closer to the second one, maybe. Uh, sorry, the, the no, sorry to the first one. The first one would make it more than nine. More, yeah. Mm -hmm. The first one. So I would probably go with the first day, the ninth. Because the bones, so at 45 days, you can't even see the skull. Yeah. So here we are six days from that, and you can see almost the full skeleton. Okay. So I think that, um, I think that we might be closer to the first day than the second day. Okay. So I'd make an appointment maybe for the 10th, the 10th. Right, depending on what day that is, you know, split the difference, right? The ninth and the tenth, Friday and Saturday. Well, I'm not open on Saturday. Yeah. Are you doing it here? Mm -hmm. or do it that Friday. The ninth. Mm -hmm. Hi, beautiful. So I think that's about it. But I usually just count the days. Okay. But you know, that's the problem to have more than one day. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. you know, I, I don't know. That's but like, you're only two days apart. Mm -hmm. So like in a perfect world, if I was going to give you advice. In a perfect world, if I was open on Saturday, I would do it that Saturday. That Saturday. Because that's splitting the difference, right? Correct. You know, like, and that's what he was saying. We splitting the difference from the 9th to the 11th mm -hmm. for the saying it's the 10th. And yeah. I counted 63 from then, which made it June 9th for the but 60. But based on what I'm seeing here, um, so at 45 days, you can't see any bones can't at all. None. And you can see every rib. Right now. Right now. So I would think it's closer to the first date than the second. A lot of times, um, uh, if they do go into labor on their own, those are the best time to cut the puppies, mm -hmm. no matter what the day is, because yeah. they wake up real easy. If you get them a little bit early, sometimes they have a hard time waking up, you know. But it's always, in the, at what I would always do if I was a breeder, I would probably do, if I was going to do two days, I would do back to back, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like try to keep it, three days is okay, but like try to keep it. Thing, uh, you know, within a couple of days, that way, you know, you hard to get in trouble. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, I think I, just if you can be solid on your days like you are, I think that's all you really need. Yeah, exactly. But the reason you don't want to take them too early is because their lungs don't develop mm -hmm. in time mm -hmm. and they have a hard time surviving. Um, if you, um, uh, you know, so sometimes when the puppies, when the mom goes in the heat, so that's why um, when the, if she starts pushing, like say she starts pushing in the middle of the night, you can't wait to come see me. You go to the emergency room. If you go to the emergency room and the uterus is already contracting, those puppies wake right up. They're squeaking and hollering. I mean, as soon as you put, cut them out of the sack, they're screaming. Yeah. But sometimes if you schedule a C-section and you're a day or two early, they're kind of mopey. Sometimes they don't make it, you know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it's always, nature knows best. Yeah, exactly. The problem is, is these dogs can't mate hardly and then they can't have puppies hardly on their own. So mm -hmm. this is kind of like you counting on nature a little yeah. bit, but anyway, um, do you have any other questions right now? No, sorry. All right, man. Good luck. I appreciate yeah, it. Good to All see right, you guys. So yeah. section for two nights. Yes, ma'am. All right. All right. Uh, good luck with everything. I appreciate it. No that. problem. I, I, I wish I had a whole. I wish I could have told you there's more than eight, and I can't count them. Yeah. <laughs> all right, good luck. It's all good. All right.